Friends, what is up and back at you once again? It is your boy, Chin, that freaking Mark. And first things first, do you like yourself some Gaga? Lady Gaga, to be specific, because if you do, I got a video right there for you. But I got a feeling that's not exactly why you're here today. I got a feeling that Run the Motherfucking Jewels might be exactly why you've clicked on this here video today. And I can't say I blame you. And in total Run the Jewels fashion, they released it a couple days early. So, you know, yeah, maybe I gave it a quick listen through, but not an in-depth one. And that's why we're here today to just take a bunch of fucking dabs and listen to this here album so if you like the sound of exactly that maybe kind of play it in the like button and uh, subscribe if you dig the vibe that's the nice little jingle that i came up with there um or don't you can talk shit in the comment section whatever your style is it's all up to you but yeah rtj4 i'm fucking stoked let's just let's just actually get it hell yeah to the brothers and the sisters <laughs> Okay, first up in this B, Yankee and the Brave. I've already jammed this track like a fucking million times though. This shit goes in. Oh, this is making me realize that the Bluetooth speaker setup might not last for much longer because there's a fair amount of bass that's not being appropriately appreciated right now. And I ain't about it. it stresses me out. Does that fucking count as blast beats? I'm gonna say yes. God, dude. I love how LP's beats still just sound like they came out of fucking 94. <laughs> love it. Like, that sounds like some fucking Def Jux type shit. I love it, dude. And if you don't know about Def Jux, there you go. You gotta lead. Alright, enough bullshitting around this rig that's just chirping. Oh yeah. Um, shout out to the original glue, because that shit slaps. <laughs> shout out also to that little, was it an EP cover? Is that what was going on or whatever? With them just looking like they're coming straight out of a fucking action flick? Fucking love it. And then on some Blast Beats, hell yeah, what's up with that dude? Oh yeah. Yeah, again, solid track. And speaking of solid tracks, Ooh la la. Yes. Did you check out the music? You did. You checked out the music video. Money all over the place. There's a snippet. Speaking of the Snapchat things, Snapchat, Spotify videos, whatever, dude. I like how this beat doesn't even have a fucking hi-hat, which makes it sound huge. Oh, man. When this shit first dropped, this was like, for like a week, this is, I like woke up in the morning and I was like cruising to work at like fucking like seven in the morning, still waking up. And this was the jam and it fit appropriately. And it got me fucking hyped. What's that one meme about people listening to like songs about murder and drug deals on your way to your nine to five? And just like some dude in like a fucking button up bitch ass shirt or whatever. Yeah, again, I love how RTJ is just pulling a total RTJ by just dropping their album a little early. If I'm not mistaken, RTJ3 was dropped early because we got a shit president, so we got a bad end of a deal, so at least we got a new RTJ album like a month early or whatever it was. It eased the blow for me. I can't like, speak for everyone, but... Uh, can we please have scratching in fucking hip-hop more often? Please. I feel like it's a lost art form anymore, and that's fucked up. Mmm. Okay. Ooh la la. Again, just as saucy. Fuck. Oh yeah. Okay. So I remember this being like out of sight, featuring two chains. Okay. I saw two chains one time. He was fucking forty minutes late for his set. 
And then he played for like 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, I never listened to 2 Chainz, so. It wasn't that fantastic of an experience. I much rather would have preferred RTJ. I tried to catch them, but the last time they came around, they were opening up for Lord. No. I'm gonna need a headliner set. Jesus! For fucking... For hot fire, such as that? Yeah. That's, that's not... That's not an opening up bit of hot fire. That's a headlining bit of hot fire. God. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure LP pr produced the whole thing, because isn't that, like, the deal with these guys? But, like, again, the beats, dude. I like when beats have, like, a sticky quality to them. It's a good word for describing beats. And this mildly has it. Uh, Kirby by Aesop Rock is the best description. Listen to that song right now and you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Song sounds sticky as fuck. Ooh. Still going. Mm. Shout out to Smoking Indica. Actually, have to switch over to the wedding cake if that's what we're fucking talking about on this side of things. If anyone's curious, I like this is the time that I actually spent a little bit of extra money on my dabs. So like, much higher quality dabs than a uh, usual reactions video we have. Or maybe it's a listening party. I got called that in the comments section of my last video and I kind of loved it. Cause I do blabble on like a motherfucker. What up, two chains? You distracted me from my own dumbass point. So hell yeah, maybe I should focus on what I'm doing. Dabs and music. Ha, ah, about the Frank line. Hey! Out of sight. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so glad to get this video out of the way though so I can openly listen to this album. So I can openly listen to this album on repeat all the time. I can speak words, I swear. Ugh. Holy ca Kamala fuck? Kalama fuck? Holy Kalama fuck? Kamala, ca Kamala Kalama fuck? Camel fuck. What is that in the background? Just very lightly, it's like some, sounds like that guy in the Warriors with the fucking bottles. We sampled bottles on fingers for a sound. I wouldn't doubt it, LP would whip it up and make it sound badass. Yes! The guy in the back just hyping him up. Yes! Was there a dirty ass fucking sax in there? I'm pretty sure I heard that. I'm switching it up. It's a lot of ugly sounds. Ooh, that's exactly. Okay. So, yeah, I said I listened through it once. That doesn't mean I got everything, all right? I was fucking ordering Arby's. <laughs> got myself a fucking... What did I get myself? What was it? Ham and cheese classic? Why did that take me so long? It was something else. I'm just trying to cover and make it seem like I remembered. God, the field change. It's so fucking dirt. McGirt. Oh, was there like bongos or some shit? I like any kind of drums, honestly. So when I hear ones that I don't hear as often that are weirder, I get hyped in a way. Dude, hell yeah. This fucking field change. We're just gonna end the song on this, huh? Hell yeah. I thought it was gonna be one of those things where it was like a really dope section of the song, but it only lasted for like 30 seconds. Nope. Kept up with it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Just gonna play it out on that fucking dirtiness. Why not? Hell yeah. Holy camel fucker was sick. <laughs> Goonies vs. E.T. Yeah. When you see a track listed called Goonies vs. E.T., obviously you wanna hit that one first. But you can't. You have to go through it and be patient. I know probably no one applies to those rules, but I'm a uh, purist. It's my excuse. Oh, it's still not fucking kicked in yet. Give me a snare drum. I know you got it. Oh, yeah, dude. And then it's like... Hell yeah. When you were expecting, like, a... I'll see there. Cut back out. Yeah, I know that was sick. Skeet, skeet. Oh, oh, pookie, baby. My best prof on the spot for you there. Gonna pick it back up. Okay, I was hoping there was gonna be Mike. There's. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna sit and enjoy. 
God, Run the Jewels is the fucking coolest thing. Oh, what? Hell yeah. Okay, Walking in the Snow. That sounded like the most fucked up distortion on like maybe a bass I've ever heard. Oh. Ah, oh, so cold. Oh, earlier when I was talking about how if I had better bass on this fuck, oh. Dude, that slutty ass fucking saxophone. LP's got the, LP's got a good ear for fucking funky sounding sounds and then making them sound dirt. Mm, mm, mm. Is that the fucking... Is that the chick that was... Mmm... He put this clit in his mouth all day. Yeah, ho. Mmm... He put this clit in his mouth all day. Yeah, ho. Mmm... I got this school in love again. Yeah. I think maybe. Mmm... Another one of those field changes. Uh, uh, okay. I'll whisper as well. Mmm... Mmm... I feel like I have a... A quota to keep up with on these dabs by this point. So... It's been a while, so we're just gonna get... Cat's staring at me, judging. Dirt. I don't know why I keep going to dirt, but it's probably just because when the jewels makes me happy, just that piece, and now I can also again listen to this album all the fucking time. Will I listen to it while editing this video? Probably not, because I usually just let YouTube run in the background. Oh. Oh, with the fucking... <laughs> yeah, that's like some horror movie shit. And then even there. <laughs> Bring it back at me. Ooh. You are automatically racist. I didn't know how to answer that. Mm, mm, okay, just Pharrell Williams and Zach Della Roach. I think this has got to be at least the third time they've done a song with him. Mm. <sighs> okay, I think this is actually the song that was on when I was ordering Arby's because I was like, oh, I have to turn this down right now. I definitely had a side of mozzarella sticks for what it's worth, okay? I'm sorry. Whew. Is that Pharrell? I just assumed Pharrell was gonna... I mean, maybe he is. I just assumed he was gonna be a part of the production. Was that him? Is that him hitting those sexy notes in the background? That's Zach. Not much question there. You may think I'm just dancing like a dipshit, and that might be true, but... Ooh. Oof, oof, it also helps me pap. It also, it also helps me pap the thick out of my back. I just got off work, okay? Sorry. Okay, for what I was worth earlier, what I was saying about the fucking, the bass not being enough, this song still fucking bangs. So, I might have to throw that on. I saw this video get uploaded on YouTube earlier. We'll make it happen. I do remember hearing this and being like, yo, that might be like one of the sickest Zach De La Roche verses I've ever heard, because obviously there's been rage, but the only other shit I've really heard him like rap rap is like the stuff with Run the Jewels. And yeah, this one's going in. It's money. Oh, okay. Just was a good one. Never look back. Mm. This is getting us in like the the later hunch of the album here. Last, the fourth to last song we are dealing with. Cat's running upstairs. Okay, I need to get like a Patreon set up so I can fund for uh, cameras for cats. Have a little side camera right there. Just kidding, I'm not gonna ask anyone for anyone's money before anyone says shit. <laughs> but can you imagine? Each corner has a cat cam. See their crazy asses doing shit. Meow the jewels, meow the jewels fast. Is that what it was? I mean, I am just sitting right here in the run the jewels section. It was meow the jewels. That album is the reason that I have a Run the Jewels playlist and I don't normally just let it run on. Nothing against it, but honestly, I'm just not a fan of remix albums. But I am adding RTJ4. Mm, that opening hi-hat. God, what is it about Run the Jewels that makes them so epic? 
don't know. My roommate and I were just talking about right before this video about how even at like RTJ2, it was just like, they came and they fucking meant business and you knew it. They came to fuck is what it was. Dude, hell yeah. Never look back. Now we got the ground below. This is a quickie. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Ooh. Is that a, no, that's not a guitar. God, this sounds like an industrial hip hop beat almost. Mm. That slap came in and it's slapping. Imagine. Yeah, see, I'm already bummed that this song's two and a half minutes. Like, so good. Ooh, I forgot about that part. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I don't even know what I'm owing, bro. I'm fucking, I think it's to the point where I've easily lost count of how many dabs I've taken. And I'm just vibing on some of the jewels. Damn, and as quick as it came. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought we were just gonna fade out. Get another verse, what's up? Damn, okay. Oh man, good use of the last 30 seconds, I might say. What the fuck is it called? Pulling the pin. My Spotify moved a little bit too much and I was just seeing all these features. Josh Home and Mavis Staples. I'm not familiar with either musician. I'm about to be. Yeah, that's got a fucking... I feel like I should be listening to this song like this. <laughs> Big fucking enormous... What was that? What was that advertising back in the day where the guy was sitting in the fucking chair and he was getting blasted in the face? You know what I'm talking about. And he's just... <clears throat> this song. <clears throat> oh, I wish. I swear. I swear right here, right now, in this video, from this point on, I'm gonna strive with every video to get to that point. <laughs> well, that's just the regular setup. Right behind the cameras, there's just gonna be subwoofers, and it's gonna be hitting me in the face. Mmm. I don't know which of the two that is, but that voice has some fucking soul. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, Mike. Okay, Mike. Yo, but for real though, whoever that was just spitting a second ago there, that singing style where it's like your voice almost slash kind of does go out at times because you're just like singing so hard. Oh, yeah, I'm going to look into some names. <laughs> mm. Yo, seriously though, I'm not exaggerating. That shit is so full. Yeah, that person's feature was my favorite thing about that song. Yeah, I remember the last song being long as fuck. And then the very end of it, like the last like 30 seconds or minute or some shit sounding super cool as well. So let's work towards that. Damn, dude, this is one of those albums that goes by so fast. Totally worth. I hope, how long was it the last album? It was when Trump got elected. I said that earlier, 2016. Um, yeah, I hope the next time we get one, it's quicker. Damn, the other ones, 2013, 2014, 2015, sorry, I included me all the jewels in that. 2016, and then 2020. Could have had one, I'm not gonna get greedy. I'm glad with the Run the Jewels I have. Big question is, is the chain gonna return to the Run the Jewels album setup? I hope it never changes. Never changes. Keep doing the fucking, change it a little bit every time, but keep it, I've said it before on the channel, I love album cover consistency. Don't know, don't know why, but what, and whatever it is you choose to pick, love it. I'm gonna apologize right now for ranting over this song. I probably should have paused it, but, cause I can tell they're spitting some shit shit right here. Mm, and some more fucking sax. Yeah, see, exactly. This is one of those songs where they got some shit to say. So the beat isn't even like, it's minimal. Obviously, listen to it. There's not a fucking, there's no beat in a hip hop song. <laughs> Who would have thought? It's amazing though. Fucking give it to Run The Jewels for fucking doing something that you don't really ever hear. Mmm. A good old fashioned fuck you too. At that, I hope it was. What's, I just got a comment. So we're gonna, yeah, I got time to call out an individual comment on Lady Gaga video. Again, great reaction, man. I just, I got, 
Hi, just watching you. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, my dude. You're getting a shout out on this video right now. Um, oh, nasty sax. Kentron Maze, I believe is the name. What up with ya? I'm taking a dab for you in a second here. Okay, I didn't say you were allowed to fuck up my jams though. I can blab over them and shit, and that's my own doing, but phone, you don't get a fucking... Mm. Okay, all that sax was saucy as fuck, and I'm pretty sure we're about to get that little... little, little feel change. Oh, what's that sticky sounding bass about right there? This is the backstory is what it is. Did they put this at the end, talking about Yankee and the Brave and shit, so when you loop the CD, it's just like consistent? Is that the idea? Whew. Sounds like all talk boxed out or whatever the shit. My high ass. Does, I don't remember if I took a dab for that dude yet. I probably didn't, but I'm gonna do it again. So hell yeah, brother. Yankee and the motherfucking Brave remix. Whew, man. RTJ4. Look, I know I literally just did one. No, I got to switch. I've been, I've been bogarting one too much. This shit slaps. Do you see how fucking shiny it looks? The fucking, the original glue that I had previously mentioned? Getting the final, final thoughts dabbed together. This one's, this one's going to be a doozy. I can already tell. <laughs> Woo. Actually, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be a lot more sauce and a lot more milk, but it wasn't. But you know what was? Pretty milky and also very saucy. The new motherfucking Run The Jewels album, RTJ4. Okay, let's try and just look back on some favorite tracks real fast. The, okay, so right off the bat, Yankee and the Brave, Ooh La La, were already some new favorites, so I like that. Track with 2 chains, Holy Camel Toe Fuckus. Yeah, Goonies vs. CT. Okay, this is going in one of those directions. Walk in the snow, was that especially? God, I'll do respect for getting spit on. Yep, that's right. Um, just... Okay, yeah. I remember The Ground Below. I'm just going through all the tracks at this point. It was a fucking good album, is what I'm trying to say. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, let me know what you think about it. Maybe you didn't... Maybe you thought that my high ass was just blabbing the whole time. You wouldn't be wrong. Um, who is that high ass that's been blabbing the whole time and is awesome at segways? It's your boy Chin, that mother freaking Mark, all up in the house. By the way, that at the freaking Mark is indeed my social medias thing. So just type it on in, check it out, see this fucking smug mug, enjoy it thoroughly from there. Um, I don't normally do this, but let's see if we can capture my cat real fast here. Do you see that shit? I'm gonna be a good, look at my directing skills real fast. Oh, oh, hey, Fluff. Man, you are one slapping cat. <laughs> look, my cat is really fucking cute and I like to show her off every once in a while, all right? That's really what it amounts to. Change that freaking mark, I already said that, it's been your boy. Like the video if you want or don't. Subscribe, but don't unsubscribe, you dick, all right? That's not, that's not cool, all right? We made a fucking, we made a bond and then you just fucking stepped all over it and I showed you my cat. Okay, I love my cat. Goodbye. I'm running on now forever. Goodbye. Run the jewels was awesome. Fantastic. All right. See you later.